Today we are going to be transforming what I have here, which I showed you guys in the last episode, and we're going to be transferring it into a massive factory. I've had a lot of plans that I've wanted to do with this factory lately, and my brain just keeps going and going, and I want to create something with this, and it could look really, really cool. Also, before we get started, I want to say a massive thank you to the people who watched the last episode. It was massive. I did not expect that to go the way it did. So once again, a massive thank you to everyone who watched the last episode of us creating the other factory with all of the oil to power. So this right here is our main section where we have everything being combined. We went ahead and filled up all of the assembly lines as you guys seen last time, and they're all gonna be making circuit boards. These circuit boards are actually made for the computer factory that's right over that way. And we are making circuit boards on actual, I guess you can say on campus of the actual circuit or the computer factory. But I don't want it to be that way. I want that to completely be taken out of the computer factory and all be done over here in a massive way. And we're going to make this making probably a couple thousand a minute. I don't really know. And we're going to do the best we possibly can. And then we're going to have all this be transferred over. We're going to start making assembly line buses so we can get mass production of different things to other areas all at once. Hopefully it will look cool. So I think the first thing I really want to do is I want to redo this because I want to make a lot more copper coming out. The back when I first made this, these are all Mark 3s. We should have Mark 4s. We might use Mark 4s. I don't know. Um, but I want to make a lot more copper at once. And I want to overclock this factory and make a crap ton of everything. There's copper out this way and over here. So that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to bring copper from all the way out here into our factory. We're going to need it without a doubt. We have uh, done a little bit of uh, ahead of time work, I guess you can say. Of course, I need to remove a lot of this stuff. This is the old factory. We're going to be combining it with the new one, too. So we do have this one over here running. It is a Mark II and everything. It already was a Mark II. It's doing 300 a minute. But that makes no sense because we're not able to actually use 300 a minute to make what we need to make over here. So honestly, we should actually do redo this and redo this section here too, because this makes zero sense. It's not actually making 300 a minute of the ingots and then of the plates. So it kind of doesn't make any sense for it to be the exact same way it is now. Also, this one over here doesn't even have one on the edge. We need to connect one there. So it's also splitting it up into three. There's just a bunch of things here that just doesn't make any sense that I did beforehand because I wasn't counting or doing any math. I was just doing it and hoping it would work out. So let's go ahead and I guess fix the mess up we have here and get this one going too before we actually start designing things. All right, this is what we have now. We've redone everything. And these are, this is basically our factory for these things. Now we still gotta reroute all of that and get all that going before it heads down to this factory, which might have to change too. But we have the copper factory over there that's of course doing all the smelting and it's bringing all the ingots up to here. And they're all splitting off, so we let it fill up. Now, this is what we've done different. So we took this over and down. Now, that's not aligned here. It's kind of annoying me now that I see it. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but, yeah, it goes straight down. And we'll actually show you what we did over here. We made, like, a little logistics slash smelting room down here. And it's a little dark, so we'll go ahead and turn our flashlight on. But pretty much, it comes down from this line back here behind this wall. It is glitched. Uh, go ahead and just open her up. But yeah, it comes down, comes into here, and then it splits off through all these guys, pretty much. And these guys are just doing their work. They're going crazy. Are you guys even smelting? Oh, it's so slow. Oh, it's because the things upstairs aren't working. We're going to let this all fill up first, I guess, before we let everything run. Because these guys are full over here. These guys are going to get full. Eventually, this will all get full. Everything will be full to its max, and then we'll start it off that way. But it all comes down, smelts in here, comes up to another conveyor lift over to here. And then it lifts through the floor, which is what you guys seen just a second ago, popping out of the floor right here. And, of course, that splits off and goes to all these guys out here. Now our next thing to do is figure out mathematics for this. So let's just check this here. So we need 15 of these per minute. Let's write that down. So if we do, we got 15. We'll just keep that there. 15 per minute for one of those machines. And we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So take that and then multiply it. Oh, well. 15 multiplied by 12, oops, 
15 multiplied by 12 is 180. So we need 180 per minute of the sheets coming out. Okay, so by looking at this, these are at least making 10 per minute. So we don't even need all of these. We don't need it to be as big as it is now, but I guess it's okay. So if these are all making 10 per minute, let's go ahead and get down in here. Let's just collect this, or click this, that's 10 per minute, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Right now we're making 240 per minute if we had this all running. And we only need 180, so we got it covered pretty much on this. Now with the plastic, on the other hand, that's a different story. Let's go ahead and check and see how much we're making here. So it needs 30 per minute, and we already know that there's 12 of these here. So if we do 30 times 12, we need 360 per minute. Each one of these machines are only making, oh, they're making 30 per minute. Oh wait, no, they're making 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So these machines are only making 100 per minute. But if we look at how long it actually takes to craft, by the time this gets done crafting, we should have more already built back up in here. So I don't think that will be a big issue. We'll, we'll see, and if it does become another issue, then we'll expand on this side of the factory. We're not gonna build nothing around this yet. We're gonna leave this factory open because if we have to expand, then we do have more oil. Uh, we don't really need all three of these oils hooked up to all these machines. Literally, we could run it off of one. Let's go ahead and finish doing this real quick. Let's do all this assembly lines real quick, get them all ran, and we'll merge them all, I guess. We might not merge them, I don't know. We'll just It just depends on the speed and everything else. Um, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get back whenever we are done running all of the assembly lines. All right, so I got all the logistics ran for all of this it's going to be coming out this way and it's going to go up around somehow i'm going to figure that part out here in a bit but we do have everything ran everything's connected together i ran some wires on the inside kind of wrapped it around the inside here i know it looks like there's a lot of like connections there but i have one for each machine so i'm not splitting a bunch of them off um and then hopefully of course we can produce enough power but now the next few things to do is to rerun the power for this section here once we get this power ran and we get this power reran and get everything going we're connecting both of these up if the power is good and we still have a lot of headroom with it then we're going to connect this and then see if everything's good if not then i guess we're gonna have to deal with more power consumption issues and probably have to do like more fuel to power oil to power or something probably this episode i don't know Okay, so we finally got this thing powered up. So everything right now is working. Of course, that's all backing up because we're not actually using any of it anywhere. You can see that that's running in. So everything's running in. This stuff's running up and that's doing its thing. Everything is technically working and it's so, I'm so excited. Now let's look at the power consumption. Only a thousand watts and we're producing about two. So I have a feeling that this next factory over here is going to be the killer of the power. If not, then this one definitely will be. Without a doubt, this one definitely will be. So I guess let's go ahead and just, this all should be powered on, right? Is this not connected to anything we have running right now? I don't think it is, but it can be. Okay, I just connected the wire, I just connected it. You hear everything starting up? This is all starting up. These things are holding the fuel for now. Now that I know how to package things and get rid of things, these things should be running here soon, but of course we're full in plastic. What we could do real quick, just to make sure everything is running correctly, is do one of these. Does look like the whole thing is running though. It's a little slow. This one's getting prioritized over these ones and everything, but that's okay. There we go. Now everything should be running properly. That looks so good. I mean, it looks okay, I guess you could say. I'm not gonna say it looks so good because, you know, I probably got some things I definitely gotta do better. But now we got everything running. So this thing is running, this thing is running. Now it's time to finally connect all this up. We just gotta connect all the wires. This is gonna take a minute to connect all these things together over here, connect everything down. I just, just gotta go through connecting everything. It's gonna take forever. Okay, after a few moments, everything is finally connected. You can see it's finally going somewhere. This is kind of cool. Go ahead and put this stuff down real quick. Zoop it out to about there. It's, it's kind of exciting seeing this stuff running and I haven't seen the fuse break yet, so that's a plus. Bring this here and then let's go ahead and put the industrial storage down. And we need to rotate it this way. This will look fine there. We're gonna be a little twisty tied. Oh, oh, break. All right, let's see here. 
this there and this here so they are crisscrossing each other but they're not like you know into one another so they're not really messing anything up um let's see let's find a power actual power pole that we can look at right here and let's see what we're making we're using we're only using about 1300 watts and we're producing about 2000 our max consumption is only 1800 there's no way you are so the thing lucky that, that, that you oh my. this most valuable artifact. But there's nothing useful for you. There's literally no use for you right now. So no, I'm not lucky. And as you guys can see, yes, everything still is kind of floating. We will get to the building part here in a minute. I just kind of figured I wanted to show all this stuff actually working. See, so yeah, we're producing pretty good. Everything's going quite well. What's this? Why is this blank? Oh, it's waiting on plastic. So yeah, we're still waiting. Ooh. All right. <laughs> it's been a little bit of time not too much um but we got a lot of things going now there's a lot of stuff going on here at once i'm just going to try my best to explain to you what's going on you guys can probably already tell uh but basically conveyors will lift this up through the floor and it will or well which one's this this one will yeah lift things up through the floor which will be the plastic that comes out of it we will be using this one and that will be what we're going to be putting in here. So it'll be lifting plastic and then of course the fluid come out of here into there. And all these ones on this side will be lifting them up into these mergers. Now this little mess is, well, as you can probably think, is to bring the plastic down from the top. It comes down and of course I lined it up pretty good on some of them. Over here it gets a little bit different. Uh, but over here it comes down on top so I just kind of just bring it down, wrap it around into a merger and it goes that way of course. Same thing with over here, it just comes down, wraps around, goes into a merger. Goes down, wraps around, goes into a merger. And then any plastic that comes from the top, goes down, and it will merge into the rest of the line. And we'll be having a lot more plastic coming through. So after taking that little bit of a trace back and forth, it definitely looks like we're still doing pretty good on the plastic. It's still trucking along. But maybe it's time to make this place look a little bit more, I don't know, pleasing. To maybe start putting some architectural things down, some walkways and ramps and stuff like that. But I think it's time to go ahead and start building to make this place look pretty because these things are running, but they don't look very good. So let's get there. <laughs> All right, guys, we have been busy. Things look a little bit different since the last clip. Um, we've been working on a lot of different things, mainly power off in the distance somewhere and everything. We've been working on power. That's not going to be the main section of this episode today, so you probably wouldn't be seeing that. I don't know yet because I haven't been into the edit editing section of this yet. But we've been a little busy. I think I'm pretty proud of what we got here. Um, things are looking a little finicky because the lights are rendering weirdly because, well... This game is a little weird when it comes to lights. Also, these ones are really bright. I don't really have the control panel down for these lights. But we have finally finished the plastic factory to the point where I feel like I'm proud of it and everything. And we can go ahead and just walk on through here and show you guys what we have. So pretty much not much has changed since the last little section when we were working on this and everything. Other than the factor of we now have a building around everything we're lagging because we're going to be saving soon. So we come up to here and you guys can see it's going to be a little messy. I, I'm going to admit that's going to be a little messy and that's fine. But this is one floor ish kind of of our factory. We have multiple little sections here that are running to make everything that's happening. We got all of our plastic going out and everything else. So this is mainly the first floor. If we go ahead and fly, I think it's behind this wall. Uh, it's, it's somewhere in here. It's a kind of a jam-packed build compared to what I'm used to doing. But there is multiple sections to this area. Fly out here and we go up and you can also see we got other stuff up top. We got some in the top, we got ones in the bottom like we showed. And pretty much that whole area is making plastic as you guys can see. It's coming out at a pretty decent rate. So then if we come over here to the semi-finished building, which we're still trying to think of a design with that, but we're just going to leave it as is for now because the inside looks pretty cool. We got all the plastic coming in. It's clipping there. I don't care. We'll fix that maybe. But then we got all these guys here running, and if we just look at it, which we have to jump down, if we look at it, we're getting plenty of plastic now, beyond enough. So, of course, we're making circuit boards. And then you guys can see this is the whole section. It looks like we're actually still a little bit behind, but that is okay. We're a little bit behind on some of the plastic. It just has to have time to kick in. Then we come on over here. This is our quote unquote copper factory. It's not really much of a copper factory because it's only a, a factory for one specific thing, which would be copper sheets and stuff. Uh, we got plenty of them. I knew we needed a lot, but I think I kind of overdid it. As we see here, these are 
all copper. And most of it is uh, coming off from this back section right here. This one right here is a normal, but this is it overclocked. Yeah, it's overclocked by two, so we're bringing out about 240 per minute. And it does have a whole logistics floor, by the way. So this thing is a little bit powerful. If we come down to the bottom, we see we have a whole other room down here. We got a bunch of storage stuff over here. But we have this working down here. Well, somewhat working. But um, it's working. It's taking all of these and turning them into ingots, bringing them up, and then bringing them back up to inside the factory itself. And then those are getting turned into the sheets. But that's not the only place it comes from. You guys can see this right here. It is all full because we went all the way out there and made a nice little section of copper um, miners and stuff. Or miners on the copper nodes and everything and we're bringing a bunch of it in. Do I need that much? Probably not. Do we want it? Yes, because I'm tired of not having enough copper. We're finally starting to use some. It looks like some of these things might be lacking a little bit. And I think the design of the factory actually kind of looks pretty cool. Now, I will go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek of the factory that we're building for um, the power and everything. Because we are making a little bit more power. You see we're using these things. Um, we are making about five, almost 6,000 megawatts of power. And that's a lot more than what we were making beforehand. And yes, I know 6,000 isn't much. To a lot of you guys, you're probably like, yo, that's actually nothing. You will lose all that power. We have been losing power. That I actually added to it. Um, but we decided to actually do a little bit of creative stuff too, not like being in creative, but like fancy stuff like this. We have a watchtower on top and we have this little ugly tower that we've built. And I agree, it's a mess. It's right next to my coal factory. But we come up under here, you can see all these little power connections here. And we come up in here and this is where our main toggleable source i guess is going to be this is where everything's going to be adapted from so right now if i was to turn this off that entire circuit board factory the entire thing over there will turn off and this right here is on a priority switch if we come into here well, come into here it's in priority group two because i want that to be pretty high up there but not the best one yet this one over here is going to be the computer factory so we go over to here this will be going directly to the computer factory i guess we'll keep that on circuit board factory two also maybe just number three i kind of want to keep them all separate but if we was to turn this on the entire computer factory itself would turn on too and we would actually be using all the circuit boards that we're making but i'm afraid that we're not going to have enough power because already with everything we got running and it's not even our entire factory we're almost capping out on how much power we're using but let's go ahead and show you guys the um the factory that we built over here it's pretty big it doesn't look the best and there's a lot more things i could do better with it and you guys can finally see the beam of things that we're building as the fog comes in and blocks everything you just got to take a chance of seeing. It's a little blocky for now, okay, guys? Like, I understand this. This isn't part of the, really the video, but I figured I would show it here so you guys can get the chance of seeing what we were building. We haven't really thought about making a video part of this section here, but if you guys want to see some more in-depth stuff like this or want to see us actually build stuff like this, let me know. Because this was just fuel, so pretty much the same thing that we did in the first or second episode. I think it was the first? No, it was the second. Yeah, it was the second one. It's a bit of a mess. I agree. But everything is running like it's supposed to. Everything is green. Come in here, and this is just... A little factory area you can see pretty much what we're doing here it's the same situation we had beforehand just on a massive 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 scale compared to last time we properly tried running wires up and down walls and stuff instead of having poles everywhere we got a power switch back or a light control panel back here which you know it doesn't really matter because we're never gonna be turning that thing off um, it does it is I think it does have a power or not power I thought I had a um, yeah, it's over here. What's it called? The switch. Maybe I didn't place it and maybe I need one, I guarantee. But pretty much minus this section back here, which I didn't actually realize until just now that this was look like this. Um, we pretty much have a bunch of oil extractors. Some of them are fully overclocked. Got one over there. Got a couple in the back. Got one right here in the middle that I found out halfway through in this, throughout this build that there was one right here in the middle. So now we have an oil pump right in the direction, direct middle. All those are being pumped in through these pipes here. There's a bunch of pipes inside this, the rest of this factory. And over here on this side, they're going in and, of course, being turned into the um, pink stuff. 
or not pink stuff uh, yeah pink stuff whatever it's called the heavy oil residue and then those are all splitting off and coming over to here to the refineries which of course are making fuel and they're all being divided up into all these different things over here got four of them over here for this half of the factory so two of the oil pumps or whatever two of those the oil extractors are running into all those factories and those are all running over to this section and then the oil pumps over here are running into this section and they're both coming down into their own little generators so that was our simplistic thing and i will have to say yes i know i've built all those other factories and they were relatively large this has honestly been the biggest project i think i've worked on and i tell you right now going from building this project which by the way is like probably 15 to 20 maybe 30 tall and the platform reaches from out there to over there it was going to be a lot bigger going from working from this project for the last couple of days just so we can get a little more power to working on something like over there when i was running the power lines man the perspective felt so weird trying to go from here to go to regular perspective of smaller builds and i felt like i was missing something but it's because i'm used to the bigger build now that's taking me the last two days but that is going to be the end of this video guys because for you guys it's not been that long I'm in the middle of me working my actual full-time job family time and everything else it's been probably four days five days of recording to get all this stuff done and everything and it's been a long one for me i'm excited to get this episode out because after the release of the last episode you guys destroyed it by hitting 370 something views which is not normal for me so thank you guys for that and thank you guys for watching if you want to see more or let me know what you guys want to see me build put that down in the comment section below and i'll do my best to build what i can also please give me more ideas for fuel because the fuel that i have now or technically power that i have now is definitely not doing me any good and it really 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 sucks i would like to get bigger and better into these things so if you guys have any ideas or projects you want me to do for the energy or the power please let me know and i'm not into nuclear power just yet so we definitely can't go that route I don't know what else to do, so I will definitely be taking ideas from you guys, so please let me know down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.